Well, Santa is not gonna be able to bring any presents to your kids this year if there's nowhere to put it. So let's go clean, declutter, organize, and decorate my girl's playroom with me so that you can get some motivation. If you wanna see how I got my playroom slash office area looking from this, to this, then stay tuned. We're doing some deep decluttering, major organization, and we're even gonna decorate for Christmas. And I would love to give you some motivation. We all need to get it done before Christmas because like I said, Santa's not gonna be able to bring any presents if he has nowhere to put them. This is the perfect time to declutter and organize your house. I know the holidays is a busy time and this is an extra thing on your to-do list, but you are going to thank me later for not waiting until after Christmas. So let's go ahead and jump right okay, into it. Hey guys, so this is the before, oh my good golly. This is the staircase, okay? So whenever you come up the stairs, I hope I'm not making you dizzy doing that little spin around. This is what you walk up to. This is our loft area that we have made for the girls' playroom and also my little office space. So this is the area that we're getting to today. We're gonna clean, declutter, organize, all of the above. But I think we're gonna start off over here with my, because I work in my office space almost every single day and Monday through Friday and I cannot take the stress of it being this disorganized. Like, let me give you an example here of what this one drawer looks like. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Okay, the glue sticks need to be together, the crowns need to be together, the colored pencils, I don't even know what's going on there. Bentley's got a hold of my post-it notes. We're going to organize every single drawer to like my, uh, to her arts and crafts, to my office stuff, how I organize, um, basically everything here. Uh, we're gonna go through the kitchen. We are gonna go through all these bins. We're gonna dump them out Go through like giveaway. What's gonna be trash? I'm sure I'm gonna tell you guys in detail in another clip But I just wanted to show you the before so that we can appreciate the after and then also let you guys know if your kids Playroom looks like this or their bedroom looks like this or whatever it is. Yes, it's overwhelming but girl We're gonna take care of it today. I'm gonna give you the motivation and we are gonna get to it today have to have a talk with Bentley like she's cutting up her socks look at all these little pieces I just found of a sock I just bought these socks for her y'all mamas know how much packs of socks can be whenever you buy the good socks for your kids before school and this is the second sock that I found where she has just like I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate that she's so creative like she's awesome. right here next to my computer I like to keep my iPad easily accessible. I like to keep it all together I also keep this notebook. This is so cute and I love the color like kind of on brand for me pinks and blues and golds This is I just like to keep this right here because this is where I keep all my brain dumping I brain dump all of the time is the only thing that keeps me from being overstimulated So I like to keep that these two things right here next to my computer So this is where I keep my Apple pencils for my iPad. I keep all my pins I bought this really cute pack that has has like motivational sayings on them I'm gonna link that actually in the description box because if you have a friend that does a lot of like stationary computer work um, and loves pens these are really cute they have all these little fun sayings on them like you got this um, be brave stay humble it's just fun like you, you pick a pen to write with and then you have that cute little that's go-getter um, okay, this is where I keep like permanent markers. The girls are not allowed to play with those. So all pens, everything like that goes in here next to my computer. In Bentley's, she has her pen and she has these scissors, but they are not supposed to be in here. I keep all scissors up and I'll, I'm about to show you where I keep them up on a floating shelf. So I'm going to stick that up. And then hers is kind of dirty. She has like all these colored pencils. Half of them are sticking up, half of them are sticking down. So I'm about to actually refix that and then let me go ahead and since we're talking desktop like what's actually on my desktop i'm going to show you my little station of where i keep my camera equipment my microphone and all of that for like when i do voiceovers and editing okay i wanted to say this is why it's important to do a clean out before christmas time because i just I just found a whole box of toys that I had no idea was in here. 
the girls haven't played with these in months. They're probably going to feel like they're brand new again. It's all the Toy Story figures that we have. Okay, so this cabinet is the one that's by my computer. So I call this one mine. And I use this for all of my overflow. So all my home organize, organ, can't talk. All my um, home organization books that I read, magazines that I like, love that I get some like inspo and stuff from. Um, all my extra planners and my notebooks. So I'm going to put all of them in a tub. If we're putting containers in a space like this that has doors that shut, I do not care if the containers match or not. I'm not going to spend extra money buying containers that are all cohesive in the same color for them to not show. Now, like in the other side of the playroom where all my bins are showing, I will spend the extra money to make sure that all of them match. But for in here, I'm going to probably do about two or three containers. And I think two of them are acrylic and one of them is hot pink. They serve their purpose. And all we care about really honestly in the organizing the desk and home office space is functionality. Okay, so moving right along. So there I have my filming equipment. Underneath is where I store all of my overstock of my notebooks, all of that. My Apple pencils and just my pencils I use in general. That's how I do my voiceovers. I have my desktop and then I keep my laptop in front of it. So this is kind of like my corner. Up here on my shelves, I just have some rando decor. I haven't really ever spent the time to like actually style these. Over here is where I I keep the scissors because the girls have to ask permission before they use them so when we found this little guy in Bentley's little pencil holder I'm gonna put him over here in the scissor holder so that we can see them we all know where they are but they are not accessible to something kids. that I love so much about this like whole setup that Hunter and his dad made us is the storage that I have underneath. So I use this one for me, which you've already seen that one for the girls, which you've seen. And then this middle one right here is kind of like both. So in this first drawer, I like to keep, um, my charger, my hard drives, got an extra hard drive there, USBs. Um, Oh my gosh, look at this picture of Hunter. <gasps> I forgot I had these. <laughs> this is, um, I'm trying to make it focus. This was Hunter when he was a baby. Oh, so precious. He looks just like Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You look just like your dad. Can I see? Oh, you look just like daddy. So yeah, I'm going to put these in my nightstand because that's where I have all our family photos organized. But we're going to get a hold of this drawer. And that's just kind of where all the writing utensils are and um, post-it notes. And then in here, I have um, another large bin of, oh, these, what is this? Oh, it's a pencil. Um, I thought that it was this. Actually, let me take a minute to tell you guys about this. Look how cute this pencil is. It's like a thicker pencil. It's like for Brooklyn for hands to learn how to write because sometimes they can't grasp a pencil that's this thin and small so on Amazon they have a pack of pencils that are like thicker so it's easier for them to write with those are really cool I'm gonna link those in the description box because I think a lot of moms could find those useful but anyway um moving on so I have like all of my other um like things that I need in here for YouTube um and this is where I keep all my tax stuff for tax reasons. It is just like organized already by like, yeah, all tax stuff, boring stuff, but things that we obviously need. Um, and then let me show you guys. So we're probably not going to do much to this middle drawer right here because it's kind of already like taken care of. And then this third drawer is where... I keep like the educational stuff. So like this is a little game that helps them learn how to read. They put read and spell. I guess they like put it up there and then they spell the word out. Um, this really helped Bentley. And it has some like empty things that I didn't, haven't needed to fill. 
we'll see what we're gonna do here. I'll show you the after in just a second. I organized my post-it notes in here. I did not do by color, but I just put them in here and I thought it looked really cute. I have my paper clips, the highlighters that I use, the colored pencils Bentley uses, her reading glasses, glue sticks underneath, chunky crayons for Brooklyn, and then these little stamper things. I have this empty for like whenever we're gonna do a car trip and they bring pencils, they put it in there so that we can bring it back up and then that's all like my editing stuff. And I also have the little grippers at the bottom of my containers or my organizers, um, not containers, so that they don't slip and move around. Last drawer over here, and it really doesn't look the most like prettiest, but I I know where everything is. I have all these extra crayons that haven't even been opened. We don't need them right now, but whenever we do, I have some. I have a magnetic board for whenever we play with magnetic letters, and then an empty tray. And here I have a little train set that helps with numbers, like learning numbers. Hunter and I's old phones, the girls love to play with those. Um, I found a ton of these ducks that we had and I'm gonna just, every time I find some, put it in here. So when we go on our cruise, we can hide them. I don't know, let me know if you guys have ever heard of that. It's called cruising ducks. Like whenever you go on a cruise and then you hide ducks um, and people find them, there's like a whole Facebook page for them. And then in here I just have like this other little fun game for the girls, so. Okay, so now that we have organized my side of the desk area, we're on Bentley's side. So technically it's Bentley and Brooklyn's little area, but Bentley uses it more. So this is how she wants to style her shelves. And these are her two shelves. She's allowed to style them however she wants. That's how she chooses. I think they look great. So we're gonna keep them as is. We may ask her if she wants to incorporate some Christmas to it. But over here is her little setup. So over here she has tons of coloring books. I'm gonna figure out which ones are pretty much all marked up that can be tossed now she doesn't need anymore and which ones she hasn't touched or just dabbled in and then we will set those up in there. I'm gonna put her Bibles in her nightstand and then also I have got to figure out a way to organize all of her crafts. Like she made this sled for her little figures and then like these she made from play-doh this is made from clay she made a little a donut over here a mermaid what's this you don't know what this is i think this is an r okay, and then underneath her area is like what i don't even know what's going on in here we have extra crayons, we have an easel, we have random bags. It's not super bad under here, but I'm basically gonna put all the overstock of coloring books that she is not coloring in. Um, things that her and Brooklyn are not playing with currently are all gonna go under here. And then, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, I just put all um, her stickers that she uses to craft with in this folder and then extra paper in the folder so that she has this together. You have kids that are super craftsy and you have the perfect like craft set for Christmas. Um, definitely let me know <laughs> down below because I am struggling. I am not like a super craftsy person. I do a couple DIYs, but I don't enjoy them. I don't do them because I enjoy it. Um, but Bentley is the complete opposite. And so I'm trying to like look at more things to like set up her a craft station here. And I just don't even know where to begin. So if you guys have any um, ideas for that, let okay, me Okay, so know. this is kind of what I came up with to organize underneath Bentley and Brooklyn side of their desk area. Um, those are empty containers with lids. There's probably about three each that I didn't need to use, so I'm gonna keep those there. Their easel is up here. They haven't played with that in a really long time. I was thinking about giving it away, but I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer. Um, and then here is the bin that has all the extra crowns in it. And then up here I have 
the bin of Bentley's like crafts that she made because I can't think of anything better to do right now to store them. So they're just gonna go here for now. And then over here is all of her like books and things like that, that were like the holiday ones and stuff, um, extras that if we're gonna do like a long car trip or something like that and I need a pool, I will get them from here. So I feel nice that that whole thing right here is like decluttered. These are all books right here that she bought at her school book fair and she wants to read but hasn't gotten a chance to um, read yet. So I put these here so that when she's looking for a book instead of looking in the other area of uh, tons of books that she's already read, she can come here. shift our focus to this side <laughs> oh my gosh i do feel nice though that this over here is all organized like there i know where everything is in these drawers now i know what we need what we don't need and i decluttered so much so i can't wait to do it to this side now i am going to probably start by moving everything to the sides of the room I'm going to pull out those bins and I'm going to make a huge pile, one large pile right here. I'm just going to dump them all and then we'll go through what's going to be trash, what's going to be for a yard sale donated, however I think that they should be. And then we will sort them back and we'll catch up and we'll move on since then. I cannot stand the cord that is hanging from the TV to there. And that's not the cord to the actual TV. Hunter had that like built behind the wall because I hate seeing cords but that's to the Xbox because Bentley started playing Minecraft. And so he moved, he got her an Xbox and moved it up here. Um, in the Xbox cord to the TV you can see. So just pretend you can't see that. <laughs> honestly get rid of 80% of this. The girls never play with this stuff and most of it is miscellaneous things. There are things like puzzles that I do want to find all the pieces to and I'll have one bin specifically for all the puzzles with all the pieces. That's how it started out. That's how I would like for it to be to end. Um, there are things like these little cheap pom-poms that um, Hunter brought from a Georgia game one time. These have been here for a while. They never play with them. These are going to go in the trash. Another bin will have like all the dolls. Then I'll have a bin that will be like all the doll clothing. Um, I would like to have, why, see why do I have two of these? Why do I have two doctor's kits? Brooklyn has a little vanity um, that I think is so cute for little girls. So if you're looking for a Christmas gift, there is this play wooden vanity. Um, it's really cute. It's a Melissa and Doug toy and it has all these like hair accessories and fake makeup. Um, I'm going to link it in the description box because I think it would be such a cute gift idea for if you have a little girl toddler. Um, but I found a couple of the pieces already that were missing. So accomplished guys you guys you got this okay this is your sign you have to go clean out the playroom your kids rooms wherever they play wherever their toys is you got to take care of it before Santa comes so there's room for their new toys their new stuff so I wanted to show you a little bit I found missing pieces for everything that we have my carpet is disgusting I need to vacuum so bad like 
Is that a piece of Dorito? That is a piece of Dorito on my carpet. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm in a vacuum after this. When you guys see like the after slides, everything is going to look so nice and I'm so excited. But I found all the pieces to our puzzles. Oh, whoopsie. Um, to our puzzles and I found all the pieces to our train books that we've been looking for. I've been missing a couple books that go in here and I found them. I found all the pieces to our Noah's Ark um, and that was not cheap. So I'm glad I found the pieces. I uh, found all the pieces to this little truck, to this dude. Um, tons of toys that still have all the pieces so I don't want to throw away. So I'm going to put this on the front porch for pickup. And then I found like tons of extra food that's not going to fit in there. So I put it in here. Um, then I kind of organized it by like Squishmallows um, and like the stuffy dolls to Barbies, clothes accessories to like action figures. Um, those are play kits. This is baby dolls for Brooklyn and then trash. So I feel super nice about how everything is turning out. You can probably hear my voice. I am just so happy. Like this is such a good feeling. So I'm going to put all of the bins back. I even have a couple empty ones. I have two empty ones. So that's really exciting. And then I am going to actually take out all the books and all the books that the kids no longer read. I'm going to include in um, the bin right here for um, neighborhood pickup. And then I'm going to resort them two tripods this is my tripod that I'm filming for the video for the YouTube and I have the box light because it is dark time because this has taken hours and then I have um, my tripod because I'm also filming a shorter version of this for TikTok and IG so after I put the boxes in gonna redo the books and then I'm gonna clear this off and then boop 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 gotta do something with that stuff and we're gonna put up the Christmas tree. I'm finishing tree. all the books and I was gonna do it like the home edit style because I think that is so beautiful, but my kids pick out like two to three books every night and I just know they're not gonna put it back the correct way. Hi, Vivi. I know they're gonna put it back, they're not gonna put it back the correct way. So I'm just going to put the books here in no specific order. But if you want to do it the home edit way, look that up on Pinterest and it's so beautiful. so excited to see the reaction to this when the girls when I surprise the girls with something and they love it their faces are just so precious and their smiles I literally live for those moments but I think it fits the playroom so well the girls are gonna love it I'm about to go pick them up from school and then when they get back they'll be shocked to see it but I'm gonna let them decorate the Christmas. okay girls I want to show you something come on <laughs> <laughs> what's different I showed you how I have the bins organized I have all their cleaning they're like pretend cleaning supplies over there um, and just some of the bigger wooden nicer toys at the top usually this is fully decorated and it looks really beautiful and it's like displayed nicely 
but we got rid of a lot of toys and I didn't want to put anything back on there because I know things are coming for Christmas. So we have the tree up. They're going to decorate that soon. I'll show you guys an after of that in a minute and the kitchen over here. Let me kind of show you, um, Honestly, I don't think you need me to show you how I organized it, and I can't even because Brooklyn already deorganized everything. She's feeding her Minnie Mouse. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Mommy just worked so hard cleaning this up. If you're not gonna play with it, can you come pl uh, uh, clean it up, please? Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is another toy from Tenderleaf, guys, that I think would make such a cute Christmas gift. It is so precious. It doesn't come with a stocking. I put that on there. But it comes with, like, all these pastries. It's wooden. It comes... Brooklyn, can you scoot over, please? Um, it comes with this little, like, espresso maker and the little cups. You can... Play around this is not a gift guide video so I don't need to spend too much time doing this but I just thought it was so precious and the girls play with it all the time so I will also link this in the description box and I'm not a, I'm not an affiliate with them so I don't get commission for this or anything like that but um, I just think it will be a great Christmas gift While I was vacuuming the floors, I did stack their nugget over here. I am gonna leave the nugget in the description box as well because that is another thing that I think would make an amazing Christmas gift. They actually got this from Santa last year. So I'm gonna show you um, how I put it out for just like them to sit on to watch TV or for Bentley to play like her Xbox or whatever it is. So something that I love about the nugget is it could be made into like a million different ways. Well, probably not a million, definitely not a million, but it could be made like into little forts. And when Santa brought it last year, we actually um, came downstairs and it was made into a gingerbread house, which is so cool. So anyway, this is what we leave out. We don't have a couch up here, but we have, you know, our two chairs for when we're at our desk. And then we have the nugget made into a couch for whenever the girls are watching movies and you know, whatever, just playing with their dolls and stuff. this video beneficial and useful to give you some motivation to really deep clean and organize some space in your house like I said I know the holidays there's just so much going on I even saw like a TikTok uh, the other day about the pressure on us as parents during the holiday season there's like oh today's elf day and don't forget tomorrow's polar express day and the day after that is Grinch day there's like okay it's already a tough season we have Christmas presents to buy and people to visit and we're going on vacation and we have extra work hours we have to do and X Y Z so much going on but like I said if you do have some spare time on your hands I would definitely at least just one room of your home the one that gets the most cluttered go ahead and tackle that space and then when the new year comes I promise you you're gonna feel so much more refreshed so that space in my house is the loft area is the playroom because it is also my office so I work here and the girls play up here it is used daily so I wanted it to be functional for both of us, for me and for the girls, but I also wanted it to be beautiful and well-organized. So 
we tackled all of that i think it turned out so good and it will probably get destroyed with toys all over the floor in a couple days but hey at least i know everything that is here is played with and we don't have any more junky stuff laying around and i know where everything is if you found today's video useful please let me know down below give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it helps youtube say hey these people like this video let's put it out to a couple more and it really helps my small channel i love you guys so much and i hope that you come back for the next video and that you're having such a wonderful holiday season i will see you guys in the next video bye